just put the Polaroid in. Just put the Polaroid. Just put the Polaroid. Just put the Polaroid. 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 Polarized. Just put the Polaroid glass. Polaroid. Polaroid. Go back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Just put the sunnies on. Now it's been a while since I've shot any film, and it's been a while since I've shot this baby. This is just oh, my beautiful Brunica ETRSI. I'm in love with this camera because she's a beast. Not really shot it that much of late. Uh, digital's been so much easier. So it's a beautiful early winter's day. Coming up towards sunset now. Maybe another hour and a half. I'm just out on a beautiful beach. It's called Pori Riri Beach, which is a bit of a mouthful. It's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Miles and miles and miles of beautiful, beautiful sand. And uh, it's quite windswept normally, but uh, today looks pretty still out there. I've got two frames left on this particular roll of Ektar Kodak Ektar 100 and I'm taking another roll of 15 exposures so we're going to walk along the beach see what we can come up with try and make a couple of nice photographs stay here for the night and then first light in the morning up out again and try and get a few dawn sunrise photographs if it's looking anything like fingers crossed guys we should have some nice photographs to come let's crack on so I think first shot of the stream here as it uh, flows into the ocean and we've got a nice rocky headland just on the horizon there and that will make a nice little focal point I'm going to take quite a low angle because there's a lot of cool as you like ripples snaking away through the shot and I think that's just going to add a little bit it's going to add quite a lot actually quite a lot of interest to the shot I quite like it it's kind of a split screen shot actually you've got the uh, not much of a sky so I'm eliminating as much of the sky as I can but the light's beautiful I'm going to shoot at f11, definitely, because I want plenty of depth of field. And we'll just take a look at the uh, the light that's falling onto the scene. At f11, at ISO 100, will give me 1 125th of a second shot in the bag. I'm going to try and keep this to as, as few a frames as I can. I've shot, I've shot a lot of late. Down in the South Island, some incredible, incredible scenes right outside the van. I was just snap happy, actually. So today, it would be quite nice just to chill, pick some real, really nice shots. It's gonna to have to be uh, winter paddling, here we go. It's not actually too bad. Better go back and get the cameras. The joys of solo filmmaking. <laughs> You've gotta love it. Opposite direction to the last shot, we've got that beautiful, beautiful headland out to the south. So uh, shot number two. It's quite a nice shot. Unfortunately there's nothing, nothing at all on the right hand side. Plenty of interest on the left hand side, through the middle. Nothing on the right. So uh, just in this area here, around the sand. Bit of a letdown that one. I'm not going to bother with that shot. I don't know if you can see that too clearly. But that's the shot I was just about to take and I've decided it's not balanced. We've got plenty of interest on the left-hand side of the frame, plenty of interest on the, through the middle with the stream, but there's nothing in this bottom right corner. It's just bland, nothing, no interest, can't make it work. So uh, that one's a, a fizzer. This is definitely gonna be the third shot. We've got the headland on the horizon, the stream running through the center of the shot with that little ridge line highlighted by the setting sun. I'll just try and show you inside the frame, inside the camera, let you have a look, see what it looks like. But it's just like a, a little ray of sunshine going straight through the middle of the frame. And I quite like that. I think it's going to make a quite a nice shot. F11, 60th of a second, ISO 100. And that is the last frame on this roll. So that is three frames. I like them all, particularly that last shot. I really do like this last shot. I wasn't going to put another film in tonight. I was just going to make these work. The light's looking pretty cool. Oh, doesn't taste too flash. Uh, yeah, the light's looking pretty cool, so why not carry on looking for photographs? This is not going to stick, bloody thing. Come on, don't you unfurl and destroy my photographs. Okay, I'll just swap the spools around. I've done a video dedicated to this camera, just to give you an idea of what I'm doing and why, why I love this camera so much. I absolutely adore it. It's a pleasure to use. Matt Whitehead in England, he's been looking at buying a Bronica for a while, looking at a few different models, I believe. But I think, I hope, he's gonna go with this model. This is an ETRSI, but the ETR models, the modular, the beautiful. I just absolutely love them. Easy to use, easy to get parts for. Beautiful, and we are back. Oh yes, actually, I'll tell you what. Just got a little bit of cloud rolling in over there as well, over that, over that hill. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to retake this shot, but I'm going to drop it down a little bit nearer to the floor, just to see what that looks like, and I'll compare the two shots, decide which one I prefer, because maybe, just maybe, a bit too much open beach in the foreground. So by dropping it nearer to the waterline, you get less middle ground. Oh, I tell you what, that streak of light in the sand, oh man, that is just running straight through the centre of the frame. To offset this shot as well, a little added bonus that I didn't really notice, and if I time it right, it might work. We've got the, the sunlit sand streaking through the, streaking through the middle of the frame, and to the middle right hand of the frame, we have got, we've got some waves coming through. I'm just giving a little bit of a white highlight onto the shot. And I think, <laughs> who knows, who knows? I'm quite happy with it. Just have a wonder about, guys, and see if anything else stands out. So I've had a bit of a wander around, trying to find another shot. What I've got so far is more than adequate. I've got some really nice photographs there. I'm quite happy with those. There's not a lot else that takes my fancy just at the moment. Not much of a sky, so I think sunset's gonna be a bit bland. I'm gonna keep my powder dry, get up early in the morning, get out here for dawn, if we get some decent sunlight in the morning, it's going to come up and it's going to smash and it's going to make those hills glow and I'll be here to grab them. So for the time being guys, I think we'll call it a draw for this evening. Head back to the van, do a little bit of editing, get a feed, turn in for the night. So see you in the morning guys. Now just walking along the stream, just checking out shots, potential shots for the morning. That makes a nice little photograph. So I've shot it, I've lost the light obviously, but this is just a test shot for the morning. I think the morning, this side of the stream, that has a backdrop. Beautiful golden light, hopefully, hitting those hills. And I think that's gonna make an absolutely spectacular little shot. I've obviously not thought about high tide, what it's gonna be doing, so uh, maybe, who knows? Maybe I won't be able to access this little point. I hope so. So that's it for tonight. What a beautiful, beautiful winter's night. I best get the old vlogging camera, because the tide looks like it's coming in. Sometimes you really just have to stop and admire. This is incredible. Absolutely stunning, stunning morning. I want to try and grab a shot from here just because of the colour in the sky. But I really do want to get further down the beach, back to the river. So let's crack on guys. What an absolutely tremendous morning. I think I'm going to pull up here actually, just get a shot from here with the wet sand, glowing sky, headland out to the north with a 15 millimeter lens on the, the vlogging camera. I can get this shot in there with the 50mm lens on the camera over the headland. It's just it's just planned. So uh, I can't make it work at the moment. Good timing because the seas, the ocean's just coming in to get me. So I'm going to push on a bit further. All this video is all about film photography. But sometimes the best camera you've got in the world is the one that does the job for you at the time. Unfortunately, the longer focal length on the Bronica would not allow me to get the beautiful glowing red sky in and the headland. All in, one, all in one frame. You've got to adapt to survive the vlogging camera became a stills camera. I don't know, I've not really used it so much for stills, but I'll tell you what, as a quick snapshot, I'm pretty impressed. Let me know what you think, guys. As, as undeniably beautiful as that is, this is my preference. This is in the opposite direction towards the south. Far more subtle, beautiful colours. Just have a quick look, see. Nice reflection going on. This looks pretty cool. The colours are so subtle. Just trying to get a uh, little bit close to the stream. Add to the reflection. Just gonna take a quick reading. F11, two seconds. That is a nice, a nice little shot, methinks. This is gonna be quite similar to the next couple of shots because I really do want to use that headland to the south rather than the headland to the north because the headland to the north is just completely in silhouette at the minute because that's the way the sun's coming up. Just taking a quick grab shot of more or less that scene there. When I walked back to get the video camera after the, after the shot, a wave came in and took away the, uh, the lines that I was photographing. I think it was that curve there, that little curvature in the, uh, the centre of the frame there. That's more or less the shot I took with the Bronica and it, and it worked out quite nice. F11, half a second, still quite keen on this side. Not as in your face. It's just got some nice tones, nice textures. I love that shot. Just 
checking fuel light readings. Here comes the sun as well. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Might make a, oh, I will make a shot. I wasn't gonna make a shot of the actual rising sun. I'm here, the sun's here. It'd be absolutely criminal not to take a quick shot. And it's quite a nice shot actually because I've got the I've got the wet sand sort of looping round this dry patch of higher sand. Again, we talk about leading lines in photography. That one's leading quite nice. I'm just gonna scoop back because I think I'm gonna lose my vlogging camera actually. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Safe. Oh, you little beauty. That was a little bit hairy for a second. Great morning to go fishing. That's quite a nice little shot. Let's just give the M50 another, another go at stills photography. Now I've just taken that shot with the M50. I'm wondering why the hell I'm messing about with film at the moment because that is just, oh, mate, honestly, that shot looks great. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shot with a film camera. It's not gonna be anything like this because it's not a wide enough lens. This is 15 millimeter as opposed to the 50 millimeter. So it uh, doesn't matter what camera you use, guys. Obviously I can see the still from the Canon M50 and it's gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning. The Bronica has got its work cut out to keep me impressed. A little bit of a little bit of a witty. Tripod's good. Thumbs almost through the cloud. It's just into the thin stuff now. So it's not gonna be long before we get some light. You can't see this yet guys, but I'll talk you through it anyway. I'm actually looking back up the uh, back up the stream towards a few houses in the village. The light is just starting to hit those white buildings. And it's quite a cute, quite a cute little shot. You just get a reading of that. Yep, F11, eighth of a second. I like it. It's starting to get some nice sunshine now. I'm just gonna spin the camera around. There you go. That's what I was just shooting. I quite like that. Back to more pressing matters. The sun, oh, bright. That's what I visualized last night. I got a few shots of that last night, but I'm hopeful this morning we'll make a better shot. Ah, come on. Just. Oh, shit, that. Freaking water is cold. It's winter, what do you expect you for? All right. <clears throat> Just put the sunnies on. When I'm thinking, I'm shooting this thinking, uh, yeah, the, the sun's gonna be through any second now. Unfortunately, there's an incredibly thin layer of light cloud. It's quite extensive. The golden sunshine, the golden sands. Might not happen, guys. In light of that new revelation, I'm gonna stop wussing about and get into that cold water. Oh my God, it's so cold. Cold, cold feet, cold feet. That was a good program actually, Cold Feet, back in the 80s. I get who the characters were, but cracking program. You're waffling, Paul. I'm frozen. I can't feel my feet. No pain, no gain. I've got four frames left. I'm gonna save them for now. I really do wanna try and get a bit more light on the scene. So we're gonna stick it out a bit longer, guys. Whew. Cold feet, cold, cold feet. And now that headland is starting to glow. Four frames, see what we get. The quick shot, the last frame, as the wave came in, unfortunately, I think the uh, I think the tripod was undermined. The shot was probably a burner. The camera's way back on the beach. Try to keep away from the incoming tide. If you can hear this, I'm down to my last frame. I really do think I've got some cracking shots this morning. That is a wrap. As always guys, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch my day. Got me 500th subscriber. Yes, 500. And it's been quite a meteoric rise in the last three and a half years from, from zero to 500. I'm aiming for 1,000 by the time I hit 70. So uh, keep doing your thing guys. Until next time, catch you later.